Well, hello. This is Dark Souls 2. New Game Plus. Law Play. Dramatic spinning introduction. My name is Alex, or Silvermont. It's all good. And this was going to be part two, but it's actually now part one because part one got messed the fuck up. And part two I did actually record and is completely dead. But anyway, let's um let's uh let's introduce things, shall we? This is a law play. That is to say, I'm going to assume you guys know all the basic stuff about Dark Souls. You know how the game works. You know about Hollowing, you know the game mechanics, you know poise, stability, yada yada. This is going to be focusing on the lore of Dark Souls. That is to say, we're going to be playing through the game, and, uh... Well, talk, talking about the lore, pretty much. If you've watched part zero, as I've labelled it, you'll see a few introduction things, but, uh... I've had a lot of audio issues, unfortunately. Which means that... Um, well, how to put it? There was no audio. <laughs> that, that pretty much sums it up. So I'm having to record it all again. But I, fortunately, we didn't really get very far. We just got to Medulla. So, um, you know, I'm actually going to skip most of Medulla because I genuinely, I spent about an hour hour thinking about it then another hour actually recording it but hey if you've played Dark Souls you've probably gotten to Medulla and you've spoken to all the NPCs here and you know all the significant things there are yeah okay so let's just go over it in brief then the Emerald Herald she tells us to go and find King Vendrick and it says our soul is not powerful enough at the moment but why why do you suppose that is what good comes from us finding Vendrick? Hmm? Not much. Unless it means the key. The key? Well, not the key, the, the king's ring. You know about that, but uh... This is New Game Plus. Let's get go. We also, we went and talked to Ben Hart of Jugo. Not Jugo of Ben Hart, and I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, we talked to him, um, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of super interesting stuff here. Oh, right, yeah, but um, that is Cardinal Tower, that is Dranglet Castle, and we can actually also see... Run! Hop! Over there. Hyde's Tower of Flame. Good stuff. It's a lot further, really. I mean, it only takes you like a minute to run there, but... Uh, time and space is distorted. Alright, let's get going. We also talked to Morlin, and... Uh, we, we, I actually talked to everyone here. <laughs> Whoa. Recklessness, indeed. But, um... Honestly, we'll, we'll start from here and keep going. I know that this is kind of unprofessional and dumb of me, but... It, God, it was so frustrating having to lose about two hours work. All because of no fault of mine. I blame Elgato. I'm suing Elgato a million pounds for this. Actually, I'm not, but hey. The audio issue isn't fixed either, I should point out. I have to actually move over and like, turn my mic on and off every few minutes, otherwise it just persists. And no, it's, it's not a problem with the mic, because, um, you know, I've tried other mics, but, uh... This place is really interesting looking. It's probably nothing of import, but I just think it looks really cool. I never actually noticed that it's this little place here before. That you don't want to go in the water though, because you'll die. You'll die the fuck up. Yeah. Here we have. Is there anything of 
Human effigy. Okay, I'm just gonna make this jump, then we'll stop for a moment. Whoa. Bone with bone. There we go. We've got some good stuff to read now. Starting with... Well, we'll just start with the human effigy. Wow, I have a lot of those. A warm, soft, shadow-like effigy. Use this item to reverse following. It also weakens the link to other worlds. Peer closely at an effigy, and one begins to perceive a human form. But whose form it takes depends on the person. So what do you suppose that means, hmm? Obviously this takes over from humanity of the first game. And humanity... was humanity described as warm and soft? I know the... Uh, the soul of Manus was, but uh, as for this, well, it's very interesting. What do you think? Is the human FD actually humanity, or is it something else? What else have we picked up? Um, I'm trying to go with things as I pick them up, and I, obviously I've picked up pretty much every item in the game. Was this new game plus? Oh, here we go. One of the first items, I think this is actually the first item you can pick up in the entire game. Rusted coin. An old rusted coin. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origins. Could well be a reference to the, um, silver and gold coins in Dark Souls 1, which I think were engraved with, uh, McLeod? Or McLeif? Or... Who was related to the Way of White of Thorland. Thorland. Hmm. Or oh, we've also got souls, but hey, they're not really anything that interesting. Soul of a lost undead who has long ago gone hollow. The soul is the source of all life. And even in undeath, or hollowing, the mind seeks souls. So a lot of people want to know, why does one hollow, when you kill them, give you 20 souls or whatever? How can one thing have that many souls? And there's a few possible answers to that, you know. The first is like, how should I put it? you let's say this hollow had one soul he kills someone else and takes their soul now he has two souls alternatively you can think of souls as power levels oh he's still alive actually so a normal human oh yeah i, I got a lot of those let's actually equip those a normal human is equivalent to one soul. And then Gwyn is equivalent to a million souls, let's say. It might so it might just be a way of measuring out the power levels of things. God, I have like 99 of every fucking item. Am I really gonna use that just so I can pick it up? Yes I am. What is that? OCD? I don't know. But God, it bugs me. What is that? I I don't remember that being there before. Probably was. I'm just blind. Head required a head. Yeah. I oh yeah, I I would point out I am playing online. And Sina The severity of one's sins. <laughs> I've been a bad mont. Uh, I kind of killed all the NPCs. Look how good throwing knives are, even in... Ow. Even in um, New Game Plus. It's great. Uh, the, the fire falchion isn't, like, our main weapon. I'm just using it for now. Yeah, th it's in New Game, throwing knives are super good. Here is, like, a mega tip. If you're in New Game, buy 99 throwing knives. They cost, like, what? In... 10,000 souls or something like this costs like nothing. Buy 99 throwing knives and use them to bust things the fuck up.
Uh, you know what? I might actually change my equipped rings. Wah! I've actually not really used the falchion much at all. At the end of the game, you can pretty much make like loads of weapons as you'll have an infinite supply of titanite chunks. Uh, you know, let's actually swap that too. Nah, no bother. No bother? Won't bother. I will actually equip the rusted rings though. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? All these things, like the monastery charm. Oh! Fank! See, just as I was talking about bloody. invasions. Some rascals already coming for us. Very well. Let's prepare to die. Oh, I see him. He's up there. <laughs> see him? Look at that rascal. jump down. Did he really just jump down and like kill himself? Did he really? That's hilarious if he just jumped down and killed himself. And he sure is turtling a lot. Yep, he killed himself. <sighs> that was a bit disappointing. Yeah, here's our main PvP weapon, by the way. <laughs> we call it the washing pole. Oh, yeah, forgot about you. Yeah. God, I'm going to get a lot of bloody invasions, aren't I? But that's alright, it makes things more interesting. Uh, I'm sure people in the comments are going to whine. Oh, you're cheesing! Oh, look at you using flame swath. Swath. Swish swish. I don't care. It's funny. Oh, I'm surprised nothing's different about this area. Seemingly. Oh, I was going to backstab him. Um. Jumping douchebag. What was that? <laughs> I got so many bloody comments from people whining and whining about me summoning for bosses. Oh, good grief. Like, really? Does it really matter to you how someone else plays the game? That is just so, so lame. And I've noticed all these people whining, they don't have videos of their own. Like, if you're so good at Dark Souls that you instantly know how to beat every boss the second you encounter them, go make your own videos and stop whining on other people's, jeez. Yeah, so I realise I'm whining about people whining, but hey. <laughs> That's the internet. But yeah, it was really getting old quick. And people seem to think that if you do something one way, you are unable to do it another way, which is not really true, to be honest. For example, if I summon people for a boss, it doesn't mean I can't beat the boss without them, it means I just choose to summon. And make a jump. And pick up something I can't really pick up, because my inventory is full. <laughs> Let's go back up the ladder. I guess we should talk about this area a bit, shouldn't we? Okay. So, this is the Forest of Fallen Giants. What is there to say about this area? This is where the giants landed when they were invading Drang Lake. Now, why were they invading Drang Lake? Because they wanted something that Vendrick stole from them. What did Vendrick steal from them? Well... 
I'm I'm talking to you, man. Don't don't ignore me. He's ignoring me, isn't he? What a little Okay. Okay. Fine. I could flame sorry them, but I, I ain't gonna. I am, however, gonna use one of these. Every time I kill a, a rare, like, non-spawning, respawning enemy. Bam! Damn, he's got quite a lot of health now. Stagger you! Whoa! He did not want to be staggered. Bait his attack, and then shoot him. Bait his attack. And shoot him. I love the bows in this game. Boo! I've already got one of those swords, but whatever. I don't. Oh, I'm not too bothered about their armor set, but I would like it because I think it looks pretty damn cool. Um. Right here. Whoa! Aggressive. Haha, <laughs> thorn ring. Porn ring. No, um, Forest of Fallen Giants. Giants came in, and they were defeated. Damn it. By us. I'm pretty sure that is who the unknown hero is. Us. Kind of like, uh, Manus. Hey, up. Oh. Right, let's... Let's try something here, shall we? Funk. Yeah. The parry shield. That's, I guess, one good thing about the Phoenix Palmer. The shield me and Natu designed. It is good for parrying, man. Oh, I'm probably going to get one shot by his fireball, aren't I? Ow! <laughs> but yeah, Vendrick stole something from the Giants. We don't know what. I think they intentionally didn't tell us. How? I wonder what the parry animation looks like with a whip. Mm. I hate how the enemy projectiles work in this game. Look, watch this. See? They they sort of. It's hard to explain. They don't track, but they, they, they go in the direction you are going. The enemies are like bloody psychic or something. Oh, thank you, lock on. Did you see that? It locked onto the enemy about four light years away from me. No. Yes. Yep. Oh, I never noticed the coin gives you that thing before. Ha, huh, neat. Oh, I'm guessing it doesn't work, but it would be really cool if you could, um... Use the Way of Blue ring against Blue Sentinels. I'll have to try that. 99% sure it won't work, but whatever. We'll try it. Stab you! Life gem! I even have 99 witching urns. I think I just bought 99 of, like, everything. <laughs> Let's open the door! What do you think about the details on this door, hmm? Significant? I don't believe they are. I think it's just patterning, but hey. Uh, no, we're not gonna... We're not gonna stop and do PvP or anything like that. Hello, Melentia. Gave me trouble when I killed her. She kept cursing, cursing me. Oh, <laughs> Generally, I'm not going to skip dialogue too much, but that was irrelevant what she had to say. This, however, hat worn by merchants from Lanafir, where blue represents knowledge. Wearing this increases item discovery. Lanafir is the farthest land to the south, 
and follows a strict edict of isolation. Isolationism. The rare visitor from Lanavir is always a little odd. So, blue represents knowledge. Interesting. Lovely. Remember the way of blue? Related? Maybe? Kind of Probably blue. not. What does she sell? Sea... She sells seashells. On the seashore, we're gonna buy that. We don't need any of this crap. Don't need life gems. Let's buy some effigies, just cause... Everything else we're all maxed out on. Yeah, okay, bye. Thank you, Thank you kindly. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's equipment. Let's swap these out for... These, yeah. You can bash your way through this door. Which we're gonna... Yeah. You'll notice the R2... Not the R2. The strong attack... The two-handed falchion attack is no longer the very popular horizontal swings. And that's a radiant life gem. Let's have a look at the flavor text on the life gem, shall we? This seems like a safe enough spot. Okay, this will do. And the Estus Flask, shop. Stone made up of crystallized souls it gradually restores a large amount of health. A rare stone with so brilliant a shine would fetch a handsome price. But what value could it really have without knowing who died to leave it behind? So these are essentially, as I understand, souls that have been around for such a time that they've crystallized. Cough, see, maybe cough. And crushing them restores your life because souls are the source of life and we're on a tree um what else did i pick up oh yeah estus flask shard that's always an interesting thing the shard of an estus flask shards are deeply soaked in estus graft the shard to an estus flask to increase the flask uses over the ages countless souls rested their bones as they drank from the original flask. And now this shard remains, serving as a vestige of their hopes and dreams. Very interesting. Stone activating a creation of Pharos the Vagabond. Pharos the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the land, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that the Pharos has been mistakenly credited with the many inventions that were create, crafted by others. The Pharos, that's weird. But, eh, whatever. Ha, <laughs> view the names of glorious champions. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Oops, a few audio issues there, but we're back now. This microphone, no, this microphone, something. I think it's the software. Yeah, it's got to be the software, as I don't have any other problems outside of that. Um, I was just looking at the champion thing, wasn't I? Yeah, that'll do for now. Let's hop down here. Whoop. And that is going to call it for part one. Tomorrow. What will we do tomorrow? Well, we'll talk about the, the giants some more, I suppose. But yeah, that'll do it for now. Till then, see you later. Yeah, I am actually doing a little bit of post-processing on the video to try and... Oh! That's not very nice, Dark Souls. You can't... Ah. Whip. Whip. Oh!